Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another City Skylights episode. I have no idea where this person is going. Oh, it's unemployed. You see that on the right top of the of the screen. This is Brittany Green, which is going to the Big Bite restaurant right now. And uh, yeah, we are back with some city skylines and you guys actually did give me some really good name suggestions in the previous episode. So I did get a suggestion from Kane, which I first thought, mm, shall we do that? Shall we not do that? And then I did a poll on the community wall with some other name suggestions as well. And this one was actually not even winning, but someone else did comment like, oh, this name is just super cool because we can create some really awesome names as well for districts. So the name of this, uh, this city is going to be Presley Point from Elvis Presley. And we can actually use, can I just enter this? We can actually use like a lot of the songs and a lot of the, the movie names for uh, naming all the districts. So uh, yeah, I hope some of you have a little bit of knowledge of the songs of Elvis Presley and can help me with some really good names for these distri districts in the future of this series. Thank you, Kane, so much for that name suggestion. I absolutely love it. And for those that have no idea why I, I like Elvis Presley, I will put like a, a post in the comments down below so you guys will know a little bit more why Kane actually suggested said something with Elvis Presley if you have no idea. But before we jump into this video, in case you're new to City Skylines or are still missing out on some packs, our channel is sponsored by Instant Gaming and via their website, you can get a really good discount on City Skylines and all its packs, but also games it's Planet Zoo, The Sims, Jurassic World Evolution, Planet Coaster, Farming Simulator, and many other great games. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it and I will also make sure to add a list in the pinned comment with some of my recommended City Skylines packs as I know especially if you're new to City Skylines the amount of packs can be pretty overwhelming so hopefully it will help to give you all a selection of my recommended packs to get into the game if you want to give it a go. Anyways back to our city right now we are a worthy village and we are working towards a tiny town, which will unlock a lot more things again. But I think before we do that, we need to add a few things in here because we do not have like a fire station and stuff. We can actually also already buy an extra piece of land, which I think is not a bad idea. I have my doubt. Shall we buy this one or shall we buy that one? Uh, it is 9,000. This one is 7,200. I guess that is because there is more water in here. Um, I feel like how much money do we have? Uh, shall we do this or shall we not? Like this is also going to be a farming area. Maybe go for this one first and then later on extend to that particular area. Anyways, okay. What do I want to do in this episode? I want to do a lot because we are unlocking a lot. So we obviously have to uh, move on with that and all the buildings. Now, I did think there was some kind of small firehouse unlocked as well. Wasn't that the case with the worthy village? Here it is. Fire safety center can be deployed for urban and suburban areas outside the scope of the fire department. And this is a small police station. So maybe they are not in the same range. If I just search for a fire station or at least for fire. Fire safety center, small fire station that can be deployed for urban and suburban areas. There we go. So this one should actually work, right? I mean, this is not really like a big city or anything like that. So I don't really think that we need that bigger building. I feel like maybe we should just add this one right over here or maybe right over here. So it covers a little bit more. Like this one is only a thousand. It costs 10,000 and this one is 12,000. Fire engine capacity is six. This one fire engine capacity is five. I think this one is actually totally fine. So shall we put it right over here maybe? 
Let's do it right over here. And then uh, we can do the same with police. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, I can find it like this. So it's just right over here then, or isn't it? Police security center. Yes, a small police station, capacity eight. And the other one is capacity 10. So yeah, it is indeed a little bit smaller and it's also a little bit less expensive. <laughs> so I think this might not be a bad idea. If I connect this right one over here on this side, I mean, we're going to extend this and expand the commercial area. So let's just put this one right over here. But I do feel like maybe we should add another fire station, which is this one, the fire safety center. So if we are just going to build this one, well, actually, this is go going to go. This is all temporarily. So this is, is going to go. Is this? The, no, where is the police station? Oh, it's actually a pretty high building still. Compared to the rest. Hmm. Okay, not sure about that. Can we change like vehicles or something? Oh, we can. Oh, that's really cool. These are probably all mods that I, I did download a while back. How is the police station? Okay, you're not too big, so that is going to be all right. I think we are first going to extend the residential area. Oh, gosh, what is that? <laughs> can someone help me? Like, why is it sometimes just... just glitching to a different screen all of a sudden i'm, I'm really not sure it, it I, I think for you guys it sometimes feels like I'm, I'm cutting in the footage or something but that's really not the case i am not doing anything and just sometimes it does that weird thing that it uh, that there's a different screen i really have no idea what this what is going on here uh so i apologize for that and i really do hope that someone can tell me what happens you see that <laughs> what just happened there i don't know hopefully it's not too annoying but do let me know in the comments down below because i i can imagine it might be a little bit weird i think i'm just going to connect this like that and then maybe have a little open space right over here for like a park or anything like that i think we're going to unlock that very soon as well so let's just fill this all up I'm going to have some water pipes. Yeah, I'm, a <laughs> I'm already doing a sloppy job with the water pipes. <laughs> okay, what can we do? We can add some residential area. That's right over here. I was going to fill these all up. Also right over here. Can we do that? Yes, let's do that. And uh, that should be enough. So then we are going to fill this one up as well. Just like that. Leave this little tiny spot open. I think this is enough. And are we already able to build some industrial area? I think we are. Which should be... Wait. Reach the population of 1400. Okay. So I did not unlock that just yet. I am guessing. I thought that was also in here, but... The Worthy Village, here, here you go. New Industry Specialization, Agriculture Specialization, Industry Areas. Okay, so then we are not able to build that just yet? Or is that right over here? That could be Industrial, no. District Selector, oh, oh yes. It is right over here then. Residential Specialization, District Paintings. Hmm... There we go. Farming industry. Sun soaked plains and fertile lands are ideal for agriculture and grazing. Okay, but this is not the same as the the industry. Garbage and industry. Yeah, because here you also unlock the farming industry. And this is the one that I wanna have to have like a farming industrial area right over here. Just curious, how is the, the garbage recycling center doing? It's using 10 out of 15. Wasn't it supposed to open something right over here? Or do we just not have? Oh, there we go. Garbage processing status. Mm, it's not like ideal. So I feel like maybe we should build another one of those. But that is like 16,000. 
which is actually a lot. And this one is not even at max capacity yet. Can I just remove that? I just don't know. <laughs> there are no lines around here. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I just don't know <laughs> why you asked me that. It's a mod that I have installed again, but I have no idea how to use that one yet. I need to go... <sighs> If for those that are, are playing City Skylines, you guys know how much time goes into figuring out everything regarding mods. So, um, hmm. yeah, <laughs> it's not really the most fun thing to do. And it just it's just so time consuming. So I actually do feel like as we have oh wait, no, I'm just not going to paint this as we just have our first little can we call this a suburban area? There we go again. Bloop. I guess it's me just using my arrows and, and no, well, it, it, it's pretty smooth if I do this, so I'm not really sure. Anyways, this is probably our first suburban area, not going to be part of a big city or anything like that. So how about we are just going to name this one already and I would love to hear some name suggestions. Fitting our Elvis Presley point, obviously. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Should not do too much time into painting this uh, <laughs> my OCD cannot handle we can we can probably just just expand this a little bit as well but I'm trying to well this is <laughs> there are a lot of trees right over here can't we do like a bit of a foresty industrial area here as well so farming right over here industrial area for for uh, foresty as well on that side that could actually work and, and maybe we can expand this this suburban area as well. But yeah, I do. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away, Madison. For Highland Square, I would love to get some name suggestions in uh, fitting in our, our, our city uh, name theme. And we should maybe also just expand a little bit with some industrial area, a little bit more on this side, because right now... We do have a demand for it and oh but we are so close okay we're just going to speed this up because i think it's 1400 before we are able to reach the next milestone and that will unlock the the farming area which we can expand to right over here tiny town so we are now unlocking the industry areas we have parks and plazas which are also very useful so do we already yeah we do have some pedestrian roads in here right with a park path we have the houses we need some more commercial zoning so i'm just going to add some more on this side as well how far do we go what was this building again the medical clinic how far mm, i'm not going to add another one i think what we have right now is totally fine we can actually maybe have another shop on that side as well so now we should be able to paint a district for some farming goodness how was it again painting yes okay it's been it's been really like two years or something but i i hope i will remember most of the things we could also definitely use a name for this farming area, industry area. So put your name suggestions in the comments down below. Really, really appreciate that. So we have now it's called Victoria Industrial Estate. I'm not sure if I can first paint this already and select this. Is that working? No, it's not working. I, I think it might not work yet with selecting the, the, the farming area because I need to put buildings in here. So we're going to have a main building right over here. Look, okay, so industrial areas, extractor buildings, processing buildings, unique factories, commercial zones, overview type. Did it already just change it? Victoria Fields? Not sure. I'm just curious if I'm now able to paint this. Okay, so maybe this is only for the normal industry and then paint it like this. I'm assuming that this now already changed to a farming field. So I'm just going to assume that this is all right right now. <laughs> farm A building. Farm A building sets an unassigned industry area tied to farming and works as the industry area's headquarter for city service vehicles. 
This one has zero out of 50 workers right now. So we are going to build, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, we don't have any water connection. So I'm just first going to connect this right over here. Uh, it depends where we are going to expand to, I'm assuming. So I'm just going to, can I, can I close this one? I, I guess this one stays open. Where shall we put this one? Right over there. Okay, so we have that building and then we can have a small crop field or we can have a small fruit field. What else do we have? A small animal pasture and we have a small grain silo and we can also add a farm fence. Let's just pause this for a bit. So I think we should go for three fields. And are we going to build that a little bit further out? I think I want to. So I feel like I want to add a road first because these fields will connect nicely straight next to each other. So maybe just have... Wait, we can actually have a gravel road. Don't we have a gravel road or something? Yes, yeah, so let's go a little bit longer. Three fields, I think I'm just going to go for the normal crop fields. One, two, and three. And then we're going to have a silo. Shall we put the silo right next to it? That? How is that looking? Oh, oh, you're, you're making greenhouses. We can change that, right? We have the appearance. We can have corn, cotton, potatoes, wheat, and a greenhouse. This one, if I remember correctly, yeah, it should go unbalanced for now. And wow, what is this one? Potatoes. You know what? I'm a duchy. <laughs> we have so many greenhouses here. So as of right now, I feel like I just want to go for three greenhouses. And um, we're going to connect this to water. So go straight like that. Okay, that is definitely not neatly. What are you saying? You, you have not enough natural resources. A greenhouse is used for cultivation of crops and vegetables. Production rate, zero units per week. Great trucks in use, zero out of five. What kind of natural resources are you missing? This extractor is missing natural resources. This building won't produce raw materials required for processing buildings. Place an extractor building on a natural resource needed for industry area type. Farming industry require fertile land. Oh, shoot, that's right. Uh, forest industry, oh, yes. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait, that means, that's right. This is actually farming, but you know what? Ha. I, I do have this little mod here and I don't mind using it. <laughs> Eggsy, who made the map, I'm so sorry, but uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm already repainting the first area. Just paint it around here, but not really needed that much. But now the error is gone. So this should now start to work properly. We have two out of 20 workers, five out of 20 workers and zero out of 20 workers. This is also going to help with people getting a job on that area. But I do feel like I want to remove some industry already because this is obviously not what we want we don't want that much pollution and stuff we all want to have green energy and, and and just a green city in general i think that definitely should be a little bit of the focus not entirely i mean i don't want to restrict myself too much but having these industrial areas and stuff i think is going to be a lot of fun if we pay a little bit attention to uh to that but yeah i i don't know i don't know there there are some other industrial areas that we like the ore industry and when we have the oil industry we might want to build that as well because it's also just a lot of fun why do you not have you guys are not connected oh <laughs> that's right because i just removed that if i just remove all of these buildings right now would that be a big problem wait a second no i need to unzone this does that work yes right mouse button right mouse button um i'm gonna take the risk i'm gonna take the risk and just remove 
all the industry right over there and we're going to focus on this particular area the, the, yes okay this is changing now so produce resources until the next level is 28 out of 500 workers until the next level 62 out of 150. I do think we have 62 out of 110 workers right now. So I do think that as soon because we now removed a lot of jobs here. Why? Why are you still here? Go away. We removed a lot of jobs here. So I do think that these people are all going to try and find a job right now on this particular side. Are they actually able to walk here? Or will they be walking there? I mean, they are probably in the need for a car to drive to their job. I don't see anyone going to that direction. We did not unlock any public transport, right? No, that's 2,400. So yeah, for the time being, they can walk here. Maybe they're using this road instead to walk. They should be able to walk to their job at least. And we are able to use the pedestrian roads from the parks, right? <gasps> I was just looking at the wrong section. There we go, landscaping and disasters. So we have pedestrian roads right over here. These were the ones that I was looking for. So now we are actually able, so this is a, a gravel path for pedestrians to walk. So we can actually connect this and just have a connection right over here, for example. Uh, shall we do that? Wait a second. I think I'm just going to have a pedestrian road right over here. We can also have bicycle, bicycle uh, uh, path because, oh man, um, I'm a Dutchie. We, we, um, we ride bikes a lot in our country. <laughs> so having like, oh gosh, this is, this is not snapping nicely so having this is the one unsnapping right oh there we go we can turn it off um but yeah having like pedestrian roads and bicycle roads next to the the highways and stuff is definitely a thing you would see in the netherlands um what we're we gonna do i want to go around here this this is this is temporarily because we are obviously going to fill a lot up in here as well so there is going to be a lot of more buildings and stuff but just to give an idea i just want to have some some kind of path right over here i actually also want to have a bicycle path <laughs> so both of them and i'm gonna make some connections oh shoot are you going oh yes 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 like that i actually don't know if i want to keep this gravel can we upgrade this Okay, this should be connected now. Can we actually upgrade this? Can. Perfect. Okay, let's just upgrade this to an asphalt path. But it's it's because here is an uh is the gravel road. I want I'm just gonna upgrade that one as well then. So we're gonna have this one and we're upgrading this road right over here. That should work a lot better. And then right over here, we can just make some more connections to this main road. Uh, maybe something like that. And then have another one from here. Oh goodness, what is that? Oh no. <laughs> okay, that looks a lot better. It's not perfect. But we are providing our citizens. Look, 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 look. This person, you're riding your bike. Hmm. Yes. Can we just connect? I don't know. If we start to add a bicycle path, I feel like we should have it everywhere. Like around the whole, whole, whole city. I'm not sure if that was a mod or that there are like roads with a bicycle lane right next to it. Sidewalk, bus lanes. I think there is bicycle lanes, yes. So this is something that we will be unlocking. So I think for the time being, we're only going to have pedestrian path 
and then later on we are going to 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 focus as well we're going to try at least to also provide our citizens with some bicycle lanes and stuff i think that's going to be really nice okay wait i'm going to check victoria fields to 72 out of 110 workers so as of right now they do have a high demand of industry i'm i'm not entirely sure what i'm doing right now oh 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 goodness oh goodness okay <laughs> put them back put them back we're, we're losing a lot of money because i'm i'm talking too much we're losing a lot of money which is not what we want so i'm just gonna put this back for now until we have a little bit more of a bigger farming area right over here which is is producing a lot more and and bringing in a lot more income as of right now it's it's not exactly the right timing to be deleting that Garbage trucking used, there were only 2 out of 15. Why was that? Was that really because of all the industrial area that I removed? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm gonna just extend this for now. Oh, we don't have any money. We can take a loan. We want to do that. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I wonder if my weekly income is gonna go up again as soon as we have the pedestrian road you know what we can actually do we can not here right over here taxes so raise the taxes a little bit more i think 11 is even possible maybe ah i'm gonna try this out 11 11 11 which is going to bring in a little bit more income as well um the Budget, are we going to change? Why do we have such a big budget here? Parks and plazas, if the budget is large, parks and plazas are more well-maintained and create more happiness. What, what did we put down <laughs> that is requiring so much money here? 4,000. Hmm. I did not, we didn't put that down just yet, did we? I don't think so. Okay, so these guys are now requesting for workers. What kind of educated workers do we need for these greenhouses? Is there any information about that? I'm assuming it's un uneducated or low educated people. Policies, improve logistics. Well, let's not do that just yet. We still have quite some, some space here for some workers, so expanding this right now doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, we can actually add some more houses, so we're just... Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, well, this should maybe fix it already. I'm going to fill this up now because I'm just not able to do anything else because I can't build any more roads. I'm not sure if we have enough water pipes. Okay, that is covered. So if we have more people living in our city, we should be able to earn a little bit more money. But it's still going down a little bit too fast. <gasps> bankruptcy alert. The city is on a brink of a bankruptcy. You must cut services by shutting them down or raise taxes to gain more income. You can also take a loan if you, uh, if any are available. Bailout option, if the above measures are not enough, you can take a bailout to save your city. No, the bailout disables further achievements. Oh, hell no, we're not going to do that. Um, reject the bailout. No, 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 no. Okay, economy. We, we can maybe just cut services here on the roads a little bit. We can take a loan. What kind of loans do we have? A global credit? 60,000. And we have a silver sunset bank. Let's just take that one for now. It's not really that bad to take a look. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Say not, but maybe it is. Maybe it is pretty bad that I'm already taking a loan in episode two. I'm going to turn on snapping here again. Makes it a lot easier. Why are you guys complaining about the road? Stop. <laughs> oh, we can actually have some nice bendy roads right over here as well like like we did right over here we can also have some roads here in between the the trees and stuff i think that will be nice industry well okay we need to ex expand our industry a little bit 
So just going to have some more temporarily industry in this little section here until we are ready to move to more farming and maybe also a uh, foresty industry. I mean, that, that would definitely fit right over there so much and then just have a connection right over here as well. I think that is gonna work out super well. So how many jobs do we have right now? 93 people, yes. Yeah, so the more we expand with our houses, the more people are available to work and then the earlier we... <laughs> Did we just spend all our money again? <laughs> that 20k! Where did that just go? Okay, I need to cut more budgets here. What can we do? What can we do? If we raise taxes more, I just am not sure if this is super smart to do. 53% uh, of your income comes from residential zoning. Would 12 be accepted still, or are people leaving our town if they do? It's still on a plus 19, plus 7, now it's going down, plus 10. As long as it's not, like, in the negative, it, our money is going up right now. So, we could be playing with unlimited money, but I don't really find that super interesting and fun for, for like a challenge mode with milestones. So uh, I think we will be all right, but I, I just need to wait a little bit and just maybe expand a little bit more right over here until we are in the green again. So we are able to do a lot more. Oh, we can actually fill this one up as well. And uh, let's just, uh, how far is the water going? It's not... Here, oh, I don't have any more money to, to add some water pipes. Well, this is actually a good thing because now we are a boom town. And if I'm correct, you always get a reward with money as well when you reach a new milestone. <laughs> so we are now not in the run anymore. We can actually unlock another area. We can already add airports, but that is definitely not something we are going to do anytime soon. We now do have transportation, so that is going to be interesting because I think a lot of our citizens are going to be super happy with a bus line or anything going towards that industrial area. We can even have a tram line already, taxi, tours, well tours is definitely something for a little bit later. We can have ferries, don't really need that right now. Postal service offers acceptance and delivery of letters and parcels to your citizens. I guess that's also a bit of, of a way of getting some income, I'm assuming. Recycling, some, a lot of new policies. We have new roads, roundabouts. We have bus lines with roads. Oh yes, this is going to be good. Six lane roads with a tram track. Mm, four lane roads. Did we already unlock anything with the bicycle lines? I, I don't think so. Oh, water pipe with heating power. Yeah, we don't need that because we're not playing with the snow map. We have a toll booth, cemetery, elderly care. Oh, there's so much here. A child health care center, bus depot, taxi depot, tram depot. Oh man, there is a lot. Biofuel, bus depot, postal office, small warehouse, fishing factory. Yes, that is definitely something I'm also interested in, the, the, the fishing stuff. There should be more unlocked at some point with a fishing harvest and stuff. Something that I have not played with before. So that is also something I'm interested in to, to figure out. So we pretty much have enough residential area we could expand a little bit with our commercial zoning so i'm going to add some more commercial zoning right over here i don't want to connect it to this road and i also do really like the fact that we have some some trees here in the middle just just having this nice natural edge here with some trees absolutely love that so we're just going to keep that we could actually maybe even upgrade this road at some point to have a tram line in the middle. That would be perfect. And then somehow connected to this, this farming area, we are almost at the next level. 
99 and I found it 110. Work is until next level, 150. Oh, so we actually do need to make sure that we have some more spots here to work. Okay, let's see if we can expand this farming area a little bit because these things will be unlocked when you have a higher level. Maybe we can also just have a few of these on the other sides and then have another silo on this side. Not sure if this is going to work out well with the trucks, but we're going to wait and see. Look, this one is actually using that to get this job. Pears, pears, meh. I'm going to go for apples. Sorry, guys. It's going to be apples only. So this is going to provide the whole area with, I, I think, 60. Yes, 60 more workers. And how many workers does a silo need? Zero to 15 as well. Okay, I think this is, a, this is a good connection here. Look, there are actually people using this to get their, their jobs. And they are pretty much able to reach it from everywhere. Obviously, if they can, they probably would like to use a bus station instead, instead of walking. But I'm already happy that they're not using their cars, for example. Because then it will become a lot more busy at this point in these, these specific regions. Uh, we have a fire station, we have a police station. We might want to add something in this, this farming area as well. I'm not ready yet to remove the industrial area, unfortunately, but hopefully we will be in the next episode. And uh, then we are able to maybe also focus on like the forestry um, specialization and the fishing industry, maybe also really a park or like a plaza, because that is also going to help to, to bring more happiness to our citizens right over here. How is our school doing? Because do we need yes we definitely also need to add a high school because we now have 251 citizens uh, being able to go to high school university is not that important just yet but i'm happy because i feel like a university is definitely something for a later stage so yeah a lot of stuff and a lot of figuring out as well because well we're now earning some money again but it was a close call <laughs> already but i'm really enjoying myself even though it's it's been a long time but i do really hope you guys are enjoying this series as well do let me know in the comments down below and of course leave your district name suggestions in the uh, presley point theme in the comments down below leave a like at the video you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already but yeah i just really do hope to see you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys